Our research group aimed to target the disease keratoconus. Keratoconus, the front of the eye, the cornea, loses its shape. It loses the stroma, the cellular matrix, which uh, composes the cornea. And because of that, it doesn't focus light onto the back of the eye properly. We wanted to turn the cells which form the cornea into a more developmental state so that they would reform a newer cornea in a better shape and be able to refocus that, that light back onto the eye and therefore the patient would see better. The eye drop contains uh, a growth factor and a steroid at very, very low levels, so subtoxic to the eye and subtoxic to the cells that compose the eye, so very, we think very safe. And what those eye drops do is that they act on the cells and they convince the cells that they are back at a much earlier stage um, in development. So in the embryonic tissue, when you're in the embryo, the eye forms from the neural crest. So we convince the cells they're back at an earlier stage and because they're in an earlier stage, they express the molecules which are uh, composed in, uh, of the cornea in the embryo, but then are replaced in human uh, adult tissue. We are targeting uh, initially adults, so our, our therapeutic will be uh, conducted on clinical trials eventually, once we've done the sheep trials on adult uh, keratoconic patients. And if that's successful, we'll then target sub-patients uh, sub who are not yet approaching surgical procedures, and therefore we can hopefully resolve the keratoconus at a much, a much younger age. We first, again, started looking at the tissue and how we could turn it back in developmental stages and we aimed first to turn it back into nerve cells. So we gave it a, uh, the cells a neurogenic factor and in fact they started looking and acting more like nerve cells could. We then wanted to see if we could turn those cells into other cell types which also develop from the neural crest. And one of those cell types is cartilage, so that forms the, the tissue in your joints. And we aimed at expressing type 2 collagen which is specific into that cartilage tissue. Um, uniquely, collagen 2 also is expressed in the cornea in the embryo and is replaced later by collagen 1 in the adult, in the adult stage cornea. So we were in fact turning back the developmental clock which enabled us to reform a much uh, more, uh, an earlier stage cornea. The um, therapeutic works on human tissue in a dish. We then processed that into an animal model, so it worked on live rodent models. We need to show that it works on a, a much larger animal model and that we can reshape the cornea and stabilize it for a long period of time so that we can help these patients for, with a much long-term procedure. So the work we're doing now moving, is moving into a sheep model. So we will reshape the, sh the sheep cornea add our therapeutic drop and then monitor how the shape of that cornea is maintained up to six months time. So these are long-term experiments. Once we finish those experiments, then we can start looking at doing human clinical trials. So then we'll be looking at our end-stage keratoconus patients and whether we can then trial the drops in our human patients uh, in a safe and uh, efficacious manner. The sheep results will uh, continue throughout this year. Uh, the analysis of those sheep, of the sheep uh, experimental results will be concluded in early 2017 and then by the time we will then need to go for regulatory uh, controls over our clinical trials. So we could be looking at doing human clinical trials late 2017 if all progresses well. Our research has always aimed to help patients with eye problems. In, our, in the early stages of this research, we were looking at ways of restoring nerve tissue to uh, corneal uh, graft patients. So when a patient has a corneal graft, that tissue is excised and those nerves are cut that supply the eye. And as you can imagine, the eye is usually a very sensitive tissue and once you desensitize it then it's prone to accidents and trauma. So we were actually looking at ways of restoring the nerve tissue. We managed to in some ways restore that nerve tissue and then we started thinking about other developmental tissues which could also be re uh, restored in the eye and we happened to think about collagen types and if we could we then started to think about whether we could reshape the cornea firstly for keratoconus and now that we have uh, established the initial experiments aimed at keratoconus, we're now starting to look at uh, designing 
our treatment for myopic patients and maybe treated short, treating short-sightedness in the long run. If everything progresses as smoothly as we would like it to, if the sheep trials are, are successful and we move into clinical trials, then proof in the clinical trials of, of low to very low toxicity and very high efficacy would then be proof of principle, we believe, for the uh, Food and Drug Administration towards approving the treatment for non-disease patients. And that would open up the whole uh, gamut of, of myopic patients, short-sighted patients worldwide, which is over a billion people who suffer from short-sightedness. Ultimately, what we would aim to develop the therapeutic for is treating uh, children who are showing the first signs of developing myopia, treating them at such a young age that they never even develop short-sightedness, that we stop it right at the start.